Llywydd, now, Trade and Invest Wales recently uh, hailed the 30% lower salary costs in Wales compared with uh, other parts of the UK. Uh, the government has uh, since taken down uh, references to lower wages on, on social media and so on, and I can fully understand why you'd want to distance yourself uh, from your own mistake. But can I ask, what is the mistake uh, that was made here? Was it just that you said this? because it does appear that at the heart of government thinking uh, still is a belief that offering uh, low wages is a good thing. Absolutely not. I could just remind the member that I've not been responsible for trade and invest since the reshuffle in December, but I can say to the member that no ministers approved that tweet. It was unacceptable. It does not represent ministers' thinking. Indeed, the Economic Action Plan has been designed to drive salary growth and the quality of jobs across Wales, and that's precisely what we're striving to do. Uh, sadly, of course, uh, the cat was, was let out of the bag, and uh, it was an insult to Welsh workers, of course, to suggest that, that low wages in Wales was something to be uh, celebrated. The truth, of course, is that wages in Wales have been uh, remaining at, at too low a level for far too long. Uh, I do not believe that reflects well on 20 years of uh, Labour-led government. But one tool, certainly, for raising wages in Wales is to push for a uh, wider rollout uh, of the living uh, wage. Yep. The public sector is engaging uh, positively. I think councils yep. led by both my party and yours have taken yep. uh, positive steps on the rollout <coughs> of, of living wage. But a strong Welsh economy needs a strong private sector, and the private sector would benefit, certainly, from having uh, more workers on, on the living wage. But isn't the truth of the matter that in the private sector in Wales, we are lagging way behind other parts of the UK when it comes to uh, the implementation of a living wage. And can I say that that's precisely why we introduced the economic contract as an integral part of the economic action plan, ensuring that fair work is a key consideration in any decision that's made as to whether a business should secure Welsh Government funding. Of the four criteria in that uh, economic, economic contract, fair work is a key component. The Fair Work Commission is concluding its work at the moment. We'll adopt the recommendations. I am in no doubt that the living wa wage will have been a key consideration in their work. But let's just look at the facts concerning the economy since devolution. Let's take employment. It's at record levels. Let's take the employment rate again. It's at record levels. It increased more quickly in Wales than the UK over the course of devolution. It's up 9.7% compared to 4.2%. Inactivity in the economy is lower now in Wales than in the UK as a whole. That's a record. It's the first time it's happened. Businesses headquartered in Wales, because lots of people often say, you know, we don't have the headquarters. Well, the fact is we've got a record number of businesses uh, established here in Wales with the headquarters here. And indeed, it's gone up by nearly 15,000 in the last six years alone. The business birth rate is higher in Wales than the UK as a whole. Business enterprise research and development, because a lot of people often say we're not investing enough in that. Well, actually, between 1995 and 2017, the annual average increase in Wales was 8%. That's double the average rate across the UK. Exports are up. Household wealth is up. The Welsh economy is undoubtedly up since devolution, and in particular in the last 10 years. And that's something that I think Edwina Hart should take recognition for and praise for, because she invested a huge amount of time and energy in making sure that we moved away from de deindustrialisation by focusing on higher quality work that pays. The job is not over yet, and that's why the economic action plan is so vitally important. That was a very long uh, list, and I'm not sure if you were trying Can to I confirm what I was saying, but okay? nowhere on that list was uh, wage levels in Wales. Yes, of course, it's welcome that employment is falling, but it doesn't show the whole picture. Uh, falls in rates of economic activity is to be welcomed, but it doesn't show the whole picture. My questions today relate to wage levels in Wales, and we know that they've been too low for too long, and we have this uh, seeming celebration of low wages in that tweet, which, is, which has now been, uh, been deleted. But returning to the living wage uh, issue, um, these are the figures. In Scotland now, there are 3,000 employers who are registered as living wage uh, employers. In England, that number is 4,000. In Wales, the difference really is quite stark. We have just 120 
uh, companies, the most recent figures that I have here, who are registered as living wage uh, companies. Now, one difference, certainly, between the situation in Wales and Scotland and England is that they have organisations funded in Scotland and England that go out there persuading and encouraging private sector companies to uh, roll out the living wage and showing them that it would be good for their businesses if they were to become living wage uh, employers. Now, is it not time that Welsh Government really invested? Uh, 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 and by the way, the, it is, of course, welcome that contracts you directly enter into well, through procurement in Wales, companies are encouraged in that way uh, and, and instructed, in fact, to, to, to pay uh, workers the, the living wage. But what about all the other companies that are not engaged with direct com uh, contracts with, with Welsh Government? Isn't it time that you invested? in organisations such as Citizens UK in England, Poverty Alliance in Scotland, to make sure that the message goes out there to companies in Wales that it's good for them, as well as for Welsh workers, that more of them pay the, the, the living wage. I should say I don't think the member and I have a difference of view on uh, wage rates. They need to improve. There is no doubt about that. The way that we're going to go about doing it is by rolling out more widely the economic contract as a principle and in practice as a means of driving up the quality of work and remuneration. Now, the member identified some vehicles elsewhere that drive the uptake of the living wage. Here in Wales, we've got Business Wales with more than 200,000 businesses within their reach. That's a service that I have personally utilised recently. I've written to all businesses on two occasions regarding Brexit, contacting 200,000. But Business Wales are now acting as the agency for Welsh Government to uh, encourage as many in the private sector as possible to adopt it's the just, living wage. But I do believe, rather than just encouragement, you have to offer something. You have to offer something, and that something is government funding. And applying the principle of something for something is by far the more, most effective way of changing behaviours and improving wage rates. And that's what we're seeing in Wales. And that's, a, that's why household income is up in Wales. But I would accept that more still needs to be done. We started from a terrible base back in the mid to late 1990s. We've made huge progress, but through the economic action plan and the economic contract, we will go further still.